hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai today i'm going to be showcasing pdf gpt and it's been getting a lot of different views as well as a lot of attention recently on github now basically this is a tool that allows users to communicate with the uploaded pdf file using a gpt and you're able to have your own chatbot communicate with this actual application with your different pdfs that you upload with this application now the tool breaks the pdf document into different segments and it employs a deep average network encoder to generate embeddings for each of the segments and this is something that i'll describe later on in the video and basically it then performs a semantic search for the content of the pdf that you had uploaded and you're basically able to get the most relevant embeddings of it that is passed through OpenAI whenever you search through it with your own chatbot in this case they currently don't have a local installation but this is something that you can access off of hugging face demo as well as their own demo that they uploaded off of gradio now the thing is i'm going to be showing you guys a solution as to why you would use this compared to other different architectures of pdf files uploaders as well as local installations of applications that do the same thing such as this video that i emphasized and this is where i created a chat gpt chat bot for your pdf files with gpt4 as well as langchain now in this you're basically able to do the exact same thing as you're able to do with this application however this one focuses more on the local installation on your desktop and it's kind of hard to run multiple files and they don't have like a user interface at the moment where in which you can actually run it on a web server whereas this application of PDF GPT, you're able to do so. And there's different encodements as well as different like segments to how they actually process the information of your PDF. And you're able to get a better search engine of your actual topic of the PDF when you're using that chatbot. So both are quite useful, but there could be some limitations to some of these applications. And these are some of the things that I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Now, with that thought, guys, if you guys haven't seen this video and if you want to install the application locally on your desktop, I'll leave a link down in the description below because this is quite useful and it's still doing a lot of good. So it's able to do the same things as this application, but you're able to do it locally on your desktop. Now, guys, if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so. I'm always posting different content that would be suited for different uses in the artificial intelligence world. So I highly recommend that you check out all these different videos. There's a lot of knowledge and a lot of information that you will definitely benefit from. And with that thought, guys, if you guys haven't subscribed, it would mean the world to me, guys, if you guys can do that. Turn on the notification bell for future updates. Please like this video as it will definitely push the algorithm as well as my videos to more people and it would definitely help the world out and with that thought guys let's get right into it so basically this pdf gpt uses a custom logic to generate precise responses that are much better and than the actual generic responses provided by open ai now this is one of the use cases as well as one of the basic like outflows of this application that puts it ahead compared to different things maybe such as this application that i talked about in this video but obviously there's some limitations where there's no actual local installation at the moment but it is something that they're currently working on and it's something that they're going to continuously work towards launching in the coming weeks another thing that they actually also plan on doing is having multiple pdfs with their application and this is another use case of why this application might be quite beneficial in the future now in terms of what i was talking about before when the responses are like sent into the actual input of the system you're able to even cite the page number in square brackets and this is through their actual um model that you can see over here and i'll go deeply into demonstrating you how it basically works and in these square brackets the information is located and it basically adds credibility to the responses and now you're able to get the user to locate like the exact location as well as a segment of what you're trying to look for in that exact location with the pdf and you, you can take out outputs from the actual inputted pdf and you're able to get a precise understanding of what you're trying to get for from this actual chatbot that they have and this is just the outflow of how it, as like a basic model of how it operates i'll leave the links in the description below now you might be asking like 
we see that there's different like PDF websites like this, for example. This is one of the one example, and there's different like use cases of PDF GPTs online. So what really makes this one different from these other ones that we see over here? Well, the thing is that guys, these websites online are quite poor content quality, which means that they are prone to basically hallucinate different prompts that you are trying to generate. Now, this PDF GPT uses an improved embeddings with the universal sentence encoder family of different algorithms to avoid this hallucination. And we're basically able to get the best improvement of truthfulness in the results of what we're trying to prompt through this actual application. Not this one in particular, but the one that we're going to be showing you guys. And you're able to get a more accurate and credible response. Now, in terms of its actual capabilities, as well as what they're trying to do, the other solutions often suffer from limitations such as a 4K token limit. And this is something that they're actually able to emphasize on. Now, this is usually when you're passing large text to open AI or there's an inability to take an entire PDF. For example, if you're actually going to send this into one of these applications, if it's like even 25 pages, you're not going to be able to get a precise understanding or breakdown of that PDF. However, this actual application is able to do so because the PDF GPT addresses these limitations by breaking down each of and every segment of the actual PDF. And it basically employs this deep average network encoder to generate these embeddings, where it segments different aspects of the PDF into different groups. For example, it's going to take the data collection paragraph. It's also going to take these features as in terms of these jot notes and it's going to segment into different different encoders and you're able to get a breakdown of these encoders into this generative embedding and you're able to segment these things whenever you're trying to look for an output when you're generating it through this application now secondly another important thing is that open ai sometimes returns a lot of irrelevant responses due to the poor embeddings and this is not the case with pdf gtp as it uses custom logic to generate precise responses that are much better and more generic responses that is actually provided by open ai now one last thing that i wanted to look towards is their actual flow chart so for the people who are interested if you want to get into the more like the aspect of the demo you can just like forward the video but i just want to like demonstrate the input as to how it actually works as well as i mean i mean like the flow chart of how the actual application works so you input your pdf obviously if it's a url you can do so which is another cool feature because i know there's a lot of applications that require you to actually download the input of a pdf file and the document has to be in a certain file to upload but in this case you're able to use a url or you can also upload a file manually and what this does is that the application then uses its different encoders and it's, it puts it into start it starts into phrasing the different pdfs as well as the segments of it and then there's a dynamic text chunks with citation history that is processed and then you're able to generate a text embedding with deep average network encoders on each of the chunks. And from this, you're able to get a better idea as the results to what each segment means. And when you're able to search for certain things, you're able to get as well as generate the answer, which we can see over here. And you get the exact output of what you're trying to look towards getting. And this is a quite unique project that I highly recommend that you check out, guys. These guys are amazing creators as to what they're trying to do with this project so i highly recommend that you check it out guys because this is something that is quite revolutionary and different applications like this that are getting pushed out on like the ai world is quite beneficial for everyone so definitely give this a star guys and definitely check this out as it's quite revolutionary and soon we're also going to be getting updates for this project and we're also going to get a local installation as they're continuously working to innovate this actual application now there's two ways to actually access this demo you can access it on pdf gpt uh, on the hugging face app or you can also do it through gradio which is both are completely free and you're going to get the best basic answer now in terms of uh like what you will require you will need to put in your own api key and you can get this through the actual open ai platform in which you can access your free api key if you have a new open ai key now there's different use cases obviously for it so if you have 
uh if you have already used it make sure that you have enough like tokens installed for it like as in you have purchased your credits to use so that you're able to generate the context of larger files as well as different pdf files and basically you can even input your own pdf file over here or you can upload a, your own file in this case you can upload something like this a small pdf and you can basically upload it over here and paste it there so in this case, I'm just going to show you an example of mini GPT. It's 6.3 MB and you can basically ask it any questions after you upload your OpenAI API key and you'll basically get a generative answer of your question over here. And you can even do precise questions of like who, who are the authors of the file or the PDF and it will precisely list down the answers of who the actual researchers as well as the authors of the actual project are and you will get a breakdown of it on the answer that is to the right of this actual application and you can actually download the responses later on this is something that they're continuously working on and we're able to get a better idea of how this will work later on as they continuously upload different features as well as different updates to it and that's basically a gist of today's video on pdf gpt guys i hope you found this video quite helpful guys because there are a lot of different like websites like this that have a lot of limitations so this will definitely be a quite a huge movement for the artificial world in terms of creating chatbots with your pdf and this will be an easy way to access it for the people who do not have the right hardware to run it on your local desktop. So with that thought, guys, I hope you found this video interesting. Uh, if you want to create your own chatbot locally on your desktop, definitely check this video out. And I'll leave it down in the description below. If you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, definitely do so, guys, because there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. And with that thought, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing day and have an amazing smile and i'll definitely see you guys soon peace out fellas